Like, yeah, like, sort of, mm, mm, like that. So you go like that and you go, mm, 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 and you look like that. <laughs> oh, cut. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Black and Yellow channel. I'm V. And I'm Markel. And today we will be testing Markel's knowledge once again. <laughs> but we're going to test him on female products, which he had no idea on. Yeah, it's going to be proper hard. Because guys, I don't like pay attention to V um, when she gets ready. No. Obviously, I, I come from a house uh, where we ha I had a lot of sisters, like it's majority women in my house. Um, and I just don't so pay you should be... no, but I don't pay attention. Like, I might see things lying around, like some of the products you show me, I might recognize it, but yeah. I might not actually know what it's used for. Um, so it's gonna be interesting, yeah. it's gonna be interesting. I can't lie, yeah. All right, so, so what's the first one? The first one, boom. All right, I've seen this one before. I have seen this one before. I think this goes inside bras, right. <laughs> yeah, don't you go to plump up the tits? No. That's what yeah, I wanted it is. to know. I wanted to it's, like a, it's like an no, implant. No, no, you're talking about a filler for your... Yeah, tits. don't I go no. to plump up the teeth? No, I knew I'd catch you out on this one. No. no. I swear I've seen something like that around. It looks something like that, but the shape is more like... I don't know. So what's it used for? This one is actually to put makeup on. So you see how I have this sponge to put my yeah. foundation on? It's people now are starting to use this. It's called a silicone sponge. So they use they tap their foundation on their skin with it. And it's meant to be more um what is it? Hygienic because you can easily wash it and stuff. Right, oh, alright, cool. <laughs> Learn something new. I you feel were like so I, confident as well. Yeah, because I've seen like a jelly I remember there was a time years ago. I think I saw it in my mum's house and I oh picked it God. up. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I asked my sister and then she was like, oh, it goes inside bras. Because oh. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, could, I was looking at it, I was proper fascinated. But next one anyway. Okay. So the next one. Alright. Is this all beauty product? Could that kind of look like, like some type of anal um contraption it could be anything it's not related to beauty at all it's, it's anything just... that female would use or it are used on female that look like anal beads that look like anal beads final answer but the only thing that throws me off is that little that little hook at the bottom like, like, it looks like it's mechanical. Mechanical anal beads. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'm like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your answer, Ben? Nah, that looks a little mechanical. That looks like it's something. You know what gives it away? I'd actually say anal beads, but that little hook at the bottom. I'm thinking, is that little hook to draw the bead out? So if the if the hook, if the beads are deep in your ass, <laughs> would you use that hook like to to drag plow out, it out? Yeah, to plow it out of your man could just plow it out for you. But no, I think it, it's something mechanical. Obviously, I can't know. The only mechanical I can see on a woman is hair. Something to do with hair. What to do with hair? Like to get a kind of effect or something on your hair. Whatever, you knew what it was. I actually did it, is it? Am I right? Yeah. Yo, do you know why? Because look, that bottom part I can see is mechanical. Yeah. Right? So then I'm thinking, okay, what part of a woman's body does she ever use anything that's electrical? And I'm thinking, yeah. hair really, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Next one. Alright, next one. Um. Boy, that looks like it's made for baking, isn't it? To measure the flour or to sift it out or something like that. So you think it's a sifter? So like I said, is it all beauty products? I just told you, no, it's just anything that female would use. But a man would use that as well, so this has to be female specific. But a man can it. looks like a pl It looks like a, pl a, plung a plunger. I've never seen a man use no curling machine, babe. <laughs> if there is, that's crazy. 
He looks like an upside down plunger. Isn't it? But like, you know what you can use, use for a toilet? But females would use that. Do females use that for their lips? To do what? To plump up their lips. Oh, like Kylie Jenner lips. Like, yeah, like, sort of, like that. So they go like that and they go, and they look like that. <laughs> <laughs> then when they're done, they look like that. They've got the duck lip. <laughs> Is that in it? I, that's what I think I'd use it for. Because that's some kind of shit females will do. So, final answer. Yeah, lip, lip plumper. plumper. Lip plumper. Uh, uh. What's it for? A menstrual period cup. Uh. So you shove that up your vagina and the period blood would drop, drip into the cup and then when it's full you take it out, you empty it. So instead of using the pad... That actually look, that's kind of unhygienic. No. Don't that stretch the pussy as well? No, it's not that big though, I don't know. How big is that? That looks like it's going to stretch the goddamn there's, pussy There's though. different sizes as well, there's small, medium and large. Yeah, I do. Oh. Depends on your flow, but it, it's like silicone. Wait, is it, the, is, it, is it depending on the flow like you said or yeah. is it depending on the size of the pussy? Depends on the flow. No, but what if a woman's got a big, like, listen. So no, this, this is silicone, so it comes in like, you know like how a condom, mm. like you can bend it and stuff. So you can bend it, it comes oh. in and, and it's soft, like it's not hard to the point where. Oh, I actually never heard of that. Yeah, it's becoming more and more popular just because it's reusable, it's better for the environment and it's easy, you can wash it out and all of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, number four. So number four, that looks like some type of contraption, guys. It looks okay. From that shaft here, right, I can tell it is a spring. I can tell that's a spring. So... What would a woman need something that springs for? That's something to do with the mouth. Uh, uh, You're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. You're a nasty woman. <laughs> Babe, do you like getting your mouth straight? Babe, man, I'm what is it? That. Stop! I'm not. But you the one that just turns... <laughs> Guys, you see how she's dangerous, yeah? She just turns it into a sexual joke. Then when I go to reply, I'm getting told to stop. Many it? men have ended up in jail for the bitches <laughs> like you. <laughs> um, I'm thinking stretch. What would a woman need stretching? Yeah, I think it's for the mouth. Maybe it's like when a woman's applying some type of mouth product, like a lipstick or something, maybe it helps them like make the lipstick go around the mouth better. How does that work? How would that work? Now maybe you're like, ah, and then they can like draw it better. <laughs> Isn't it? One said, because you're laughing. So it's obviously <laughs> not that. It's obviously not that then. So one said, let me guess one more time. Wait, so you would stretch? Yeah. The joke come out. No, like, ah, uh, like, uh, no, look, it'd be like, ah, uh, like, uh, ah. Uh. And then you see, and then the woman could just go around, wouldn't it? Okay. It's either that or down there, but I don't know why they would want to stretch down there. So, because that's the only two areas I can think would need stretching. Alright, so it's basically just for stretching purposes. Yeah, for the mouth. Mm. Okay. What's it for? It's a hair, facial hair remover. So it's basically the spring, you bend it, you go wherever you want to remove the hair, the spring now closes, snatch onto those hair, and pulls it and out. Pulls it out. Dad, women, why do you put yourself through this shit? Why? <laughs> You're all beautiful how you are. No, <laughs> not you. <laughs> not you, babe. I'm talking to them. <laughs> spin the next one. I don't want to do it anymore. That's I said spin true. the goddamn next one, woman. Next one. That look like a bath tap. <laughs> that look like a bath tap. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, actually? I don't know. Um, I can't even see, like, tell what it is. 
No, I don't know. Do you won't guess at all? No, I can't. No, I don't even know what it is. I can't even guess like, what type of part of the body. Like, it just looks like a bath tap. Imagine if it is a bath tap. I don't know. I'm just going to say bath tap. Well, it's a pelvic stretcher. Uh, what's that? So, basically, at um, a pelvic exam, the doctors would use this. So, they'll put shove oh. it into our vagina and then squeeze it so that it will stretch it out so that they can examine whatever they need. Is to that what you have to be going through? Yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't even know that's what you was going through. I didn't even know. Do you so, know I need food? No, lots no, and lots this, and lots of food because video, of it. After this video, I'll get you sweet and sour, special fried Double. rice. i get you um. I want Caribbean balls. No, you can't get Caribbean. You're going to get big. You're going to get... Alright, next one. Last one. I mean, I could... I think mean, that one's actual anal beads, but it looked bigger in the picture. But that looked more like it's. But that's not anal beads aren't specific to women though. That's true. That's true. Oh yeah. Blindfold? No, not blindfold. Oh, like a blindfold. Though, isn't it? <laughs> with one, with one hook. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is a crazy one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's for the eyes. That's blatantly for the eyes. Because look at the two dark areas. I think if you're doing makeup, right, you put that over. And then you can do the and not affect this area. But how does it hold? How does it stick on? I think face? that that little bit coming off is elastic. So you wrap that around the back of the head, connect it to somewhere on the other side. Oh. Yeah. Because I think, let's say the woman does her eyelashes, right? Let's say you've just done your eyelashes, just done your eyeshadow, and you're like, okay, boom, I'm doing the rest of my face now. I don't know the order you look do it in. You can slap that on, so... Like that, so it's on now. Then you do that, you do the rest. Ah. And then, boom. Okay. You've protected the makeup that you've already done. Okay. Final that, answer? Final answer. Uh -uh. What are these for? It's a Kegel ball. A what? So you shove it up your vagina. Yeah. Leaving that hook out. Uh -huh. And then, basically, throughout the day, uh -huh. your vagina would then use its muscles, the pelvic muscles, to squeeze it in, to keep it in place, so that it keeps your pelvic tight. So I would have been far off if I stuck to the anal area then, aren't I? So it's not anal, it's, but it's not for pleasure neither. This one is more is that balls? to build up. Is that balls? What is it? Is it balls? Yeah. Are they solid? To some I extent? don't know, I've never used it, but... You seem that like your knowledge was was high on it, <laughs> and that makes sense. Like I see something like that. No, one you time. don't see nothing, man. I see something like that one time. Oh, that, so why why would a woman want to um, strengthen her pelvic area though? Like let's say after you had a baby, so it's for tight um, pussy, basically. Yeah, to tighten it up. So why are you trying to? You don't have. You don't have. So that you, some people have like leaky bladder and stuff, right? So no, it's not they're for that. they're. No, it's not for that. What? You know it's not for that. You didn't even know what it was for. How are you telling me? Now you told me what it's for. Just say what it's for. Don't explain to me what it, that one is. Second, just, tell, just tell the truth what it's for. It's for tight pussy correction. It's a tight pussy correction tool. Okay, cool. Did you, you just say it's for tight pussy? Yes or no? To tighten your pelvic, yeah, muscle. No. Do you know what? Alright, well... <laughs> Marco's got basically everything lying. wrong. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, except for the no, I got the thin one. one. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the so I mean, anal looking like one out of six. How well did you guys do? Did you guys join in? Comment down below. What else you want us to do? What other videos? And if you like this video, press like.
Yeah. What? No, I was just going to tell them because you were going to forget again. No, what? If you know any other products, put it down below. Put the link down below, whatever it may be, and let us know. And I'll try and guess it in the comment section, guys. But you female products just blow my goddamn mind. <laughs> but guys, <laughs> this is Black and Yellow, and we're out. Oh, God.